I'm joined by sales and marketing specialist, speaker, genius, John Lees. How are you, John? Oh, good, thank you. Now, the reason why I brought this up is because a lot of people are finding it tough, retailers in particular. Mm -hmm. And you always say that you've got to look for the value gap. And a lot of retailers are being forced to discount to get people to buy. And that's the only reason why sales are looking good. They're discounting. And if all you're prepared to give is supply a product and a service and so forth, then you'll be trapped in this area here. And who will be in control of the transaction? The customer. What will the customer do if they're in control of the transaction? They'll try to force the price down, as in fact they're entitled to do. And people say, is it rough being on the road all the time? And I think if you were a fox with a limp, um, it probably would be. But for the most part, the airlines are on time, the hotels are very nice, so it's good. And besides, you get to meet different people when you travel, you know. Um, I even met one guy in San Francisco last year who kissed me on both cheeks, <laughs> um, which I didn't like because I was tying my shoelaces at the time. <laughs> That's why these people do so well. They sell more than they charge for, and they have bought what it is they're trying to sell. They generate contagious enthusiasm. The only thing more, not hype, the only thing more contagious than genuine enthusiasm is a distinct lack of it. So we've got telemarketing, we've got spam, we've got junk mail, we've still got door-to-door -door selling, which persists to some extent, which I know about because I used to be involved in door-to-door -door selling, which uh, didn't work for me because I was selling doors. <laughs> so I used to go, knock, knock, damn it, they've got one. The job of management is not to motivate staff. There's another lie for you. The job of management is to hire motivated staff. So there you have two people in the same industry, in the same city, in the same time, in the same econ economic conditions, uh, both suffering, uh, and yet one with the attitude of doing something about it, and the other not. So I think it's a reminder that we in sales, we have to cause demand. We can't simply meet demand. Nice to see many of you here with uh, your partners, spouses, and what have you. I, uh, I couldn't be here with my wife, but I did ring her tonight, and I told you today we live in Sydney. I just rang her and said to her, I love you, um, miss you, can't wait to have my arms around you. And she said, who is this? <laughs> you ever heard a client say, oh, let me think about it? Yeah, that means they're not going to buy. It's about as simple as that. These people understand the dictionary definition of the word winning is progress through struggle. It isn't supposed to be easy. Therein lies the problem for many people in business is they were hoping and imagining that it wouldn't be tough. It's supposed to be tough. Then we have the people in the middle, and the people in the middle do a bit better than the people at the bottom. The people at the bottom want to give customers what they want. Most customers don't want much, so they don't get much. So the people in the middle try to give customers more than what they want. Come on out and fight like a customer. What's wrong with you? I have been to sales technique class, you know. Would you like some evidence? <laughs> you ever heard the expression, he suffered for his work? <laughs> now you know what it means. I've even got Scottish friends who wear headbands as silencers. <laughs> There's an old saying, the quality of you and your intentions towards me speak so loudly, I cannot hear the words you speak. So all the days of your life, I hope you'll work on your communication skills, but this is the most important thing, remembering that this is an echo of this. Uh, we, as of September of this year, my wife and I were married for 40 years, which is quite a uh, milestone. Uh, milestone. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's natural for people to say, well, how, how do you do it? How, how, what's the secret? And there is a secret. I think a man at the beginning of marriage has to make a decision. That decision is you either want to be right or happy. Happy <laughs> life. <laughs> nice. So the second gap in business has hardly been developed at all. It's a massive area of opportunity. But the customers don't know anything about it. And the sad thing about it is most businesses don't know anything about it either because they don't know how to measure the second gap. We must learn how to measure the second gap. It's a huge area of opportunity. You know, everywhere you turn, there's unsavory selling tactics. What is selling? Selling is the highest form of service you can offer to a client. It is leadership. <laughs> He's got the talk. Yo. Pardon? Yo. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, what up? You what's going down? You what's happening? What's happening? I've got to know what's happening. And I said to him, how come you never know what's happening? <laughs> if you ever cease to be valuable in life, business, wherever it happens to be, you're in big trouble. Attitude, motivation, determination, enthusiasm, discipline, these are human qualities. <clears throat> and everyone here today has those qualities in abundance, with no exceptions, none at all. 
Now, there might be one person now, a bloke here, saying, I haven't got any of those things at all. Yes, you have. No, I don't. Especially motivation. I don't have any motivation. I've never had motivation. Don't be silly. You've probably got more motivation than anyone else here because you've not used any of yours up yet. <laughs>